When you're out riding your dirt bike, your feet, ankles and knees are never too far from the ground. So it makes sense to look after them when you can. Now AJ Roberts and Glenn Kearney tell us what they do to get extra protection. Your legs are probably 80% of your riding. If you can't stand up or put a leg out or start your bike or any of those because you've got an injured leg, then you can't ride. I never ride a bike without boots or helmet or any of that sort of protective gear. It's very important to protect your feet and uh, ankles, that sort of thing, especially with the chain and wheels and everything all around your feet. You know, you never know when your foot could get thrown off and you sometimes even run over your own foot. It's <laughs> as stupid as it sounds, but it does happen. And other things like rocks and trees and roots and all that, so very important to have a good set of boots that you're comfortable in so you can ride well. The problem I have when I was young, I always bought boots too big or from a family trying to save money that I'd grow into them. Probably not the best way to go because they don't fit real good and you can't really use the control so well with your feet so it makes it quite dangerous. So obviously you look for a good fitting boot and go for quality. I know they're expensive but it's worth paying the, the extra bucks to get a good quality boot. For me I've always worn knee guards and then when I was old enough and stopped growing moved into the custom CTI 2s. For me I got fitted with those I think in 2001 and I've still got the exact same ones today. You get protection from impact on the knee brace and the knee guard, but basically a knee guard is just plastic and it doesn't add any structural support to the knee. It's basically like a roost protector. It just straps around with a bit of Velcro strapping at its best. You only get protection from the ground, from grazers and rocks, where a knee brace is structurally trying to support your knee from any hyperextension, twisting. It absorbs power too, you know, so if you're stomping the ground, it gives you strength. If you've got good pivot, good extension and room in them, there's less chance of injury. It's quite easy to research things nowadays with the whole World Wide Web. Just be careful of knee braces or knee guards that are just basically plastic joints. Plastic snap's quite easy. There is good plastics out there. You want to make sure it's got good pivot points, strong rivets, things like that. And you can tell the quality of certain products and with knee braces you get what you pay for. Make sure you buy quality when it comes to that. Let's go over some of the key points. Your lower leg, ankle and feet are close to the ground and vulnerable to injury, so it pays to get the best boots you can afford. Always protect your knees. As a minimum, use knee guards to reduce the impact injuries. Now, knee braces stabilise the knee joint and provide extra protection against ligament damage. And always look for the CE mark on impact protectors. It indicates conformity with the European safety standards.